Hi, welcome to this RTOP installation video. It's going to detail all the assembly work required to fully fit one of these Malaysian style hardtops to a TVR Chimera. Now, the assembly order is broken down into easy stages. It just needs to be followed in the correct order. So, as we can see, this car already has a hardtop fitted. This is my own car. It's had this roof on for the last six years. It's the first one built, so it is a prototype, and some minor details have changed since this, this roof was made. Now, none of these changes alter the way the roof is assembled, so don't worry if some of the internal details seen on this car are slightly different. I'm going to demonstrate in the following clips how all of these parts are assembled together to create the hardtop and the work needed to do so. But first, we need to start with some important pre-assembly checks. Right, so one of the first things to check is the door alignment to the rear wing. We're looking for a nice even panel gap and flush with the rear panel. We don't want the door too high or too low, it wants to be level and check to make sure it doesn't drop when it's closed. If you can hear the striker catching then it's obviously out of alignment. We're looking for a nice, a nice closure, nice flush panel and a nice even gap. Now if the door does need adjusting forward, if it has dropped, it can be adjusted on the hinges. There's two 13mm bolts at the top, same at the bottom. You can get some movement on the door to raise it up at the back or lower it if it needs it. But bear in mind that this chrome channel here is normally a press fit up to this windscreen rubber. So if the door does need to move forward or it needs raising, it could tighten there. Uh, in extreme cases, this rubber may need taking off the sealant cleaning out and resetting again with the door in its new position just so that it's not foul in there just so there's no pressure between the, the rubber and the uh, chrome frame so after checking the alignment if everything's okay down the side here where the chrome frame meets the windscreen rubber the alignment's fine to the rear wing same to the front wing if it all looks to be in the right place and it's opening and closing nicely don't touch it leave it where it is there might be a few inaccuracies on a hand-built car, but the hard top can be tailored to fit where the door fits. So it'd be absolutely fine. The only other thing to check on the glass, sometimes the glass can be loose in the runner in the door and there'll be some movement on the glass side to side. This one's absolutely rock solid. If the glass is loose, if it moves, that needs sorting first. And also check that where the glass raises to isn't too high above the frame. Sometimes you get a little gap there, which can be hard to seal with the rubber over the top. It's worth sorting that out first. Get the glass level with the frame. And if necessary, with the window right down, there's an adjustment screw halfway along for the stop height of the glass. Another thing to check is the windscreen rubber, where it meets the tag panel. Make sure it's nice and even. No big bulges or gaps or anything like that. If that's nice and parallel to the front edge of the targa, then it'll look nice when it's painted and uh, mated up to the front there. Of course, if there are any bulges in the rubber, it's probably best to take the rubber off, reseal it back in place nice and neat. Here's another thing worth checking first as well. The curvature of the chrome door frame is often different to that of the rubber up the side of the screen and the ceiling rubber inside the cockpit. Now, sometimes if the curvature is too great, there'll be a tiny gap about halfway up, which can let water in. The water can get in at the top there, run down, and it can drip in there. One way of testing it, use a piece of paper or something like that. Just try sliding it between the frame and the rubber. If you can feel resistance and it's making a seal. If not, it'll go slack halfway down. But that's a neat little test just to see how tight the frame is sealing up to the rubber. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to see here, but the curvature of this frame you can see is different to the rubber. Now on this car it does seal, it's fine, but it is tighter at the bottom and tighter at the top where the curve of the frame comes back in again to meet the rubber. 
Now over time, if the door frame is pressing harder at the bottom there, it is going to want to move the frame out slightly. You do get some movement on these frames. It is only aluminium, so it can be straightened very carefully. Straight plank of wood along the back and a G cramp just to try and straighten it out that little bit so that the centre touches the rubber. Make sure the rubber's not too warm first. If it's compressed, then just put a new rubber on if necessary. But if you need to, these frames can be tweaked slightly, but you've got to be careful. Don't go too far because otherwise it could um, cause problems with the uh, window travel going up and down. If there's any tight spots or kinks, you don't want that. There's another important place to check as well which can cause water leaks and water ingress into the front footwell. So with the door open, have a look at the sealant bead where the chrome frame meets the inner panel of the door. It's often concave and that can create a little gap behind the ceiling rubber where it meets. Any water that runs down this channel sometimes finds its way onto the top of the door and it can come in through the gap. If it is concave or it's causing a problem, just mask off either side and using a filler spreader, scrape some more Sikaflex in here so that it's flush between these two planes. If it is leaking, it's possible for water to either run down the front of here and then come in the car, but sometimes it can get behind the trim panel. Once it does that, it can run anywhere down the back of this trim panel and along until it finds a gap and come in anywhere along the bottom of the door, which could be either at the front or further back at the side of the seat. It can be really deceiving sometimes because you think the water is coming in at the entry point but it isn't. It can be running down the back of the trim panel and finding its way in here. So double check that. So we can see on this car got nice door alignment to the rear wing, nice even gap, flush with the top of the wing, it's not too high or too low, it opens and closes nicely, there's no catching on the striker, the glass is secure in the frame, there's no movement on it, if I try and pull the top there, there's nothing, fits nicely up to this windscreen rubber, the curvature isn't too great, it's making contact with the rubber behind, and there's no problems with this sealant bead here. So now we can crack on and fit the roof. So first job, take the old soft top off.